so hello dear students uh, your quiz exam is over and i thought of making a video showing the probable answers of the exam that you have did today done uh, did today and uh, this is just probable answers i have not worked out all of them uh, this is the first part and i am going to do only 25 questions uh, the questions which need some more work out i will be uploading the rest of the 50 questions from par part b uh, tomorrow and part a also by evening i will be uploading tomorrow itself uh, so let's begin the first question is um, the this the no so no vinegar condensation is correctly represented by the substrate combination of you all know that it should need a active hydrogen and as well as there should be a carbonyl group so the option b would be the probable answer because diethyl malonate is having a active hydrogen group and the carbonyl compound will be provided by the benzaldehyde so option b would be the right answer there so among the following the amino acid which is most basic in nature so there are three amino acids that have basic side chains which will be lysine arginine and also histidine here only arginine is given and therefore definitely that should be the most basic amino acid now the third question this we have discussed in one of my video which is from photochemistry the reaction shown below is an example of so let us see whether there is a gamma hydrogen here there is alpha beta gamma definitely there is a gamma hydrogen and therefore this should be a nourish type 2 and if you remember in nourish type 2 we can have three ty different types of products out of which one would be a ketone uh, then the other would be an alkene and the third one would be a different type of cyclic uh, cyclic product so we have discussed already discussed this so you should have got this answer here we have another question this we, which we have which i have already mentioned you in one of my videos about the biomolecules and i have told you to identify the structure of ribose and deoxyribose and rna should have ribose and what is that and the structure should be option c because other or oh, everything else is the same you just have to see the positions of oh then there should be oh in both these positions for a ribon ribonucleic acid and for a deoxyribonucleic that is for dna this should not be present so definitely option c would be the answer in this one now the next question the birch reduction of benzoic acid pro produces so the birch reduction is also important i have already told that and uh, birch reduction of uh, carboxylic uh, benzoic acid will be producing it should be producing cyclohexa 2,5 diene 1 carboxylic acid this should be the answer that is uh, after the shifting the probable structure should be like this it should go after the reduction it would be like this so 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 so 2 and 5 therefore it should be cyclohexa 2,5 diene 1 carboxylic acid and uh, don't worry if you have not got any answers uh, maybe uh, if, that you you might have got uh, other answers correct and do, wouldn't matter uh, as long as you score good totally don't think about individual questions don't worry about that this is just for your information to be sure whether you have attended uh, all questions right or not okay now we'll go to the next question which of the following is a B blood pressure lowering drug the answer is option b methyl dopa and uh, don't uh, this is not a very uh, chemistry related question all of you that is there is nothing much to uh, start learn about this if you commonly know about the medicine's name then you you might have come across this if not most of you might have left this question doesn't matter definitely doesn't matter now the next question we have already discussed and i have told you the uh, idea behind the question that is which of the following will not show ir spectra so homo uh, homonuclear diatomics will not show how uh, ir spectra and we have done multiple examples of this uh, like which one of the following will show ir spectra will not show ir spectra and i have highlighted and told you to remember that homo and homonuclear diatomics will not show ir spectra so the answer should be option c n2 because n2 is having a uh, this is a homonuclear diatomic so the next question is the intense purple color of kmna4 solutions is due to you definitely know that dd transition will not be there because in kmna4 the mn is in mn is in plus 7 oxidation state that is therefore there is no electrons for dd transitions and uh, there, there is no lepotate allowed or lepot uh, sweden allowed dd transition then what happens is the ligand the ligand of oxygen ligand will be giving its electron to the metal and uh, this is called the ligand to metal charge transfer and lmct ligand to metal charge transfer is the reason for the intense purple color of kmno4 solutions uh, this will be giving a very high molecule 
particular extension coefficient for the KMNO4 and that is why they are having very intense color okay now the ninth question is the probability that a particle in a one dimensional box of length is found between 0 and L by 2 is uh, that is uh, it would be uh, 0 0.5 um, I think those who have learned this one by heart would be knowing this answer and if you are not well versed in the part of uh, quantum mechanics you might not have got this answer that so even as I told before uh, the overall score is to score is what matters not the individual part of what you are doing so don't worry again now the next question you must answer this because the half-life of a first order reaction is something that you are learning uh, always you have learned from your plus 2 onwards so the first or half life of a first order reaction t half is equal to 0 0.693 by k where k is the rate constant now the next question this i don't know how many of you have know about this idea but in the reaction shown below the product uh, product p okay product p can be uh, classified as this is a homo aromatic compound this is typically example of uh, homo aromatic compound so this is a typical example of homo aromatic compound as i said in a homo aromatic compound <laughs> there would be one sp3 hybridized carbon carbon atom and that would be lying above the plane and the remaining uh, remaining portion of the particular compound will be aromatic then we uh, therefore without that sp3 it should be be an aromatic compound and therefore it is above the plane and this uh, cyclo uh, cyclo octatetra in this is one of the basic example and apart from this there is another exam another term you have to remember that is bishomo aromatic that is when two sp3 hybridized carbon atoms are there and those without those two uh, the system would be a aromatic system so the answer here is homo aromatic compound so uh, the next question is which of the following is not a chelating agent and the answer is pyridine because it's a mono, monodendate ligand and no such examples of a chelating agent where pyridine is a chelating agent is seen. So definitely that would be our answer that what we are looking for. Now the next question is theoretical magnetic moment of europium 3 plus. It should be zero. The theoretical magnetic moment is zero and uh, the observed magnetic moment will be something around 3.3 to 3.5. That is a uh, anomaly in the theoretical and the observed magnetic moments of some of the lanthanide uh, lanthanides and this is the one of the most important one in that the next question is which metal center does not obey the H in electron rule and uh, you can see there are many difficult examples so the best thing the best way that you could have approached this question was to check whether uh, check check in uh, this vanadium uh, CO, uh, CO, V, CO6 in the first place because vanadium, scandium, titanium and vanadium it should be G3S2 that is 5, five uh, from vanadium and also 12 from carbonyl compound so it should be having 17 17 electrons so VCO6 is definitely not, not an 18 electron complex so that is definitely an answer if it had a minus then that would not be, have been the answer so VC, V in VCO6 is the answer of this particular question that is it is not obeying 18 electron rule uh, even, even if you are writing the another entrance exams also whenever you have these kinds of question first try to uh, do the simple one first if luck is in your favor the first one itself would be the, the easiest one itself would be the answer and you could save a lot of time in your exam okay clear now we'll go to the next question next question is the shape of brf3 the shape of brf3 should be t shaped shape that i have already made a table and explained you how and everything so i will not go into deep deeply again so t shape is the answer this is another direct question the 16th one is another direct question a crystal with a equal to b equal to c and alpha beta alpha equal to beta equal to gamma but not equal to 90 degree this is trigonal again i have taken this in the part of solid state and i have even given you a uh, shortcut to remember the 14 uh, bravais lattices and also their uh, the connections between their axial angles and edge length as well which is very important and i hope you have all written this answer now the atomic packing fraction of simple cubic units it is 0 0.52 even yesterday i have told you to uh, take a look into this one and the another the 18th question even this one also i have asked you to <coughs> look yesterday 
the cubic close pack structure of a solid is the coordination number is the cubic close pack structure has a coordination number of 12 even this we have done in i think in vhu paper uh, one of the previous paper i have done this question all these questions we have already discussed so it will give you a easy hand if you have seen the videos because definitely all these questions uh, should be in your mind if you have watched the videos carefully now even if you haven't i know in totally you you might have done well not just these 25 questions the others or you you might have written the others and scored above 50 or even 60 i'm very sure now we'll go to the next question here maltose and trihalose are disaccharides formed from two units of glucose if maltose is a reducing sugar and trihalose is a non-reducing sugar the position of the o glycosidic bond is correctly represented as this is a very simple question c1 and c4 in maltose and c1 and c1 in uh, trihalose that is very simple uh, maltose I, at least you should have known maltose and as i have said if you uh, know uh, if you have confusion between any two options and you feel like writing more answers you must have up, uh, attempted this one as well now we'll go to the next question again a very simple question the compressibility factor of an ideal gas is it should be equal to one we have discussed in the gaseous state video already done this now the 21st question this is you you are all chemist you are have all done chemistry lab laboratory work so you should know this answer the correct way to mix an acid and water is we all know it is an exothermic reaction a lot of heat would be generated on doing this and therefore we should add acid to water only and that should be not pouring but add slowly acid to water so option a should be the right answer uh, without knowing the, I am I hope everyone you, you have written at least this question correctly without any doubt because you have done it many many times so this should be the right answer now the 22nd 22nd question the molar conductance of solution of an electrolyte is measured in it should be option D per ohm centimeter square per mole that should uh, this is also simple question uh, what is something you have already known chemically vitamin b1 is it is thiamine i have shown the flow chart of uh, vitamin b1 b12 all those i have already uh, discussed with you and i was very sure that this one should, would come in the exam because it was the trend and that is why i insisted uh, that you should learn that part now the next question dmg is used as a spot test reagent for the confirmatory test of which cation it should be nickel because whenever you hear dimethyl glyoxin the complexing complexing between dimethyl glyoxin and nickel should come in your mind and therefore dmg is used as a spot trust reagent for the confirmatory test of ni2 plus itself now the final question that i am going to do today is from the relation between the equilibrium constant kp and kc is we know that is kp equal to kc into rt raised to delta n this is also very very basic thing and uh, now the next 50 questions from chemistry part i will be doing uploading them by tomorrow afternoon and part a also i'll be trying to do and upload by evening and even if you have some mistake in this part i'm sure overall it would be good for you and i i think the exam is not too tough and many of the questions these 25 questions are very simple so i think uh, the cutoff won't be very low for different uh, different central universities but it may change and even if i have uh, done, done any mistake in the answers while discussing it very fastly please uh, do share your disagreements with any answer i said if you have in the uh, comment section below so that we can clear it out now thank you for watching will be please stay uh, please stay connected for the remaining answers thank you so much and for people those who are going to write uh, Kuset exam next year don't worry I, I will discuss deep, uh, discuss each of these answers in detail later on in other videos this is for the people this video is for the people those who have already written the exam so thank you thank you so much and all the best for any other exam or your admission of whatever or for all your future endeavors I uh, my best wishes for, for each of you thank you